All right, we are back. Just talk to the officials here. The game had an issue at the first round. Karma had some troubles with his stuff, so we're going to start this one fresh. It's 0-0, zero, zero, kicking off fresh game number two. The restart, the fully start from scratch here. I said it was actually a, an issue with Karma. You could see he wouldn't be able to move. I think that's why we couldn't switch to him on the uh, broadcaster mode. So completely not his fault. Back, clean slate. Let's see these two teams go to war. And you know what? It's going to go back, and I am going to want to watch the formula again. You know, he, he kind of got a peek at the strategy from Cole, but Cole also got a peek at yeah. his strategy with that sniper rifle. I'm wondering, what does he do differently here starting this second time around? And I want to see Formal at the start, like you said, with this sniper. He's going to be pulling out the pistol. Get up top here, inside strip, and Goon, once again, I have a feeling, is going to be trying to push up on this left side if Cole is going to give him the flank again. Now looking for a pick here. There he's going to, oh, oh gets taken down. there's a pick for you. Not able to do anything there now. On board with Theory. He has a thermal himself. And they do have, you know, number of disadvantage here. Goonjar now looking as well. Look at all the thermals on this map. Just trying to get it. And a nade coming in. Not able to connect with Goonjar, unfortunately. But they are trying to pin them down just a little bit. TP has gone down as well. It's now two versus three. Goonjar looking for another pick. There's a man just behind the wooden door. The bomb is down, but I think Theory is going to get picked here. Krim is right behind him, and there goes Krim. Now it's all up to Goon. One on three. Oh, he's going to see one. He has managed to pick off one. Can you see the second there? You can oh. see him on the Oracle. No, <laughs> down you go. And there we go. Complexity started off a little better here. Aegis is picking up two. They're going to get a defuse one nil ahead. And Complexity, like I said, they're going to need to really start thinking about turning this now. But they're going to stop being wary. Like I said, they have played all day. Absolutely. And Krim, you know, he started it off picking up Theory. And then, uh, you know, Aches really coming through, picking up the two kills. Karma also getting that piece there at the very start. Let's see Karma versus Formal. Karma puts away the sniper on the other side. We're going to see the defensive split. Theory going left with Goon, or while well, Goon goes right. And it looks like Sharp is that player with Theory. 360 through the middle to dodge any sniper fire. And already this defense from TK so aggressive. Look at this lineup. Theory oh, perfectly executing this charge. I so said he's been aggressive there, he's caught them off balance. Just want to get another one, can he get it? No, gets taken down. The answer back, but now it's Gundra and Sharp who've got the disadvantage. It's Aixis, Krim and TP all coming in against him. Aix is going 3-0 at the moment, but we're on board with Sharp. No, yeah, let's see Aix. Let's have a look at what Aix is doing. What is, what is Patty Cakes doing here? Sharp is left all alone. And he's got another kill. This could be Aix's fourth. Does he see it? He oh, does, and that is kill. going to do it. Aix taking out Sharp. We'll see it one more time in your round ending kill cam. If Aix is about to turn up 4-0 at the moment here, I don't think he was happy with how that last game went. And he's certainly going to try and take it out on them now. And you can actually see impressive scores already from Complexity. They need to keep this momentum up. They are very much a momentum team. And you know, so they're famous for it. They're famous for just any, if you give them a single map, you're in serious trouble of losing the entire series. Theory taking the bomb again for TK. And it's all 1-2 scores. Formal sitting there with the donut still. And at the start, Formal getting very aggressive, looking for the players to his right. Didn't see the cross. Theory may not know they're here, but shots now going down in the middle of the map. That was Gunjar taking out TP. And look at Formal's position here. I have him lit up. He is all the way behind enemy lines. Big kills going down in Pond as the bomb is planted. Formal should have this kill as well. So bomb down all but Krim 6. No, taking down right. Krim between all three. Oh. Tried to get sneaky, and Theory is going to shut that idea down instantly. Yeah, I can see he's going for the Ninja Diffuse there. Something actually his teammate's quite famous for, Karma. But there he goes. He goes, goes. So he didn't really have a choice there. He couldn't really do anything else. There was no way in the position right. he was in that he was going to make all three of those kills. They were all around him at that point. They had good positions as well. You know what? Why not go for it? Complexity's got to be careful. Formal just ran right through the middle of that Mac, but now it is Cole's turn on the attack. We are watching through the eyes of Crim6 as he is going to be working with TP to get this B-bomb down. Meanwhile, who's the uh, player going for the pickup here? It looks like that's going to be Aegis charging through the middle. Doubling back, though, as he thinks he was spotted. And they're still going to keep Karma on the far left using this sniper. Yeah, that's, you know, Karma out shooting Formal there. Like I said, we did, I didn't think that would be the counter to him. Karma also well reputed to have that fantastic sniper shot. And they're going to be looking for another pick here. Getting this bomb down and be like I said, it's always very, very difficult. There we go. Theory managed to pick him up straight away, bringing him back to a three versus three. There we now in a good position to just hold it off here. That's what they want to do. Hold the pressure off B for as long as possible. Force complexity to make a mistake. Force them to make an erratic procedure. And there we go. Theory getting another kill now. Great pick by him. 
And Theory looking for two more. He will have his ace if he keeps this up. Sharp also pinning in the players at that B-bomb. Theory's got to watch his back, feels the pressure coming, double checks and gets his third. Last man standing is going to be Aches in a one on three once again, and Theory no. gets the ace! <laughs> Theory, you complete monster. What even was that? He just picked them off for leisure in that one. Man, Theory so aggressive so far on their defensive place, and I love that one. Got up top of the 18 wheeler for his first kill, then just slaughtered his way through the motel. Inside Complexity's base B and not happening, says Theory. Now they're on the attack, and he's going to go right back to that objective role. But I want to see Formal. Can he outshoot Karma, or is he just going to stick with this MTAR? Last time sniping on defense definitely didn't work out for him. No, it certainly didn't. Now, let's have a look at what he can actually do here. Formal being just getting through. He's going into the middle of the map. They're quite an aggressive push from here, but he's going to go down straight away. It's going to be first blood. And oh my goodness, look, they've all gone down. It's just sharp left. And he has been spotted by Crimson. There's just going to be a pick here from four members of Complexity. There's no way he can get out of this. TP picking up two that round, and Krim will finish it with the headshot on Sharp. 3-2, Complexity retaking the lead. Yeah, they have. So that, all of a sudden, they just changed in the blink of an eye. They went quite aggressive there, and it didn't really work for them. Complexity went, you know what, we've got this. We'll have all, them, all those kills. I like it. 3-2. Can TK answer back Theory was on a four-point spree before being taken down in that last round. And uh, Formal, where is he going with this one? Sniper's back out. Will he be watching the cross? Because there's a four-man push coming to his right. Yeah, Formal, he not, he's not going that way quite yet. Yeah, he's going to see a point, but he has been picked. I think they've got Formal's number this time round. Every single time he tries to use the sniper rifle, it's not working for him. They're looking for him every single round. Now, Aches, he's going to get out of here. He's going to that nade across. Uh-oh, there is a player behind Aches, too. Player trying to sneak up from Strip Club. Also, TP was attempting to go for that bomb. Now it's up to Karma and Aches. Aches, here's the call out from Karma trying to sneak up on the player top pawn. I didn't get up this ladder. This is the key question here. Just being very, very careful. He's going to come right up against him now. He has seen him, and he's going to make an easy pick now. Two versus two. Can he get the second one there? Almost. Get some hit markers. Oh, and Karma, Karma falls because of it. Sharp able to get the angle. Aches just running out of ammo, and now it is a one on two for Aches. It is. Can he manage to pull this off? He's got 33 seconds. The problem he's going to have is that he just does not have the bomb. And that means he's going to have to go all the way to get it or try and make two kills, and they're so far away from each other as well. We're we'll getting this spot here. Oh! <laughs> Who does that, Sharp? Laying down in the middle of gas. Let's take a look at it one more time. Just hanging out totally prone, hiding right next to this bar. Perfect placement as he catches Aches hunting for him. TK tying it up, 3-3, search and destroy continuing in round number seven with TK back on the attack. And we're gonna see Formal switch to the MTAR, Sharp MTAR, Goon the same. So four MTARs, they're going for a bit of a rush. Who is this? So this is gonna be Goon going all the way across the map, charging straight into gas. He's going to be it's so aggressive here. And what he's going to try and do is just make problems for complexity. Being get behind them, that's going to be a, 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 just a massive danger to them. If they can get forward. Now, Gunter, he hasn't seen anyone yet. It's going to be a long rotation for him. Not able to get a pick up. Krimzik trying to put some shots down as we switch to him. Look at the amount of bullets getting in as he gets taken down. It's now Aix and Karma versus four. And there is a push. Goon walked right past this guy. It's Aix inside the base. His teammate could have cleaned that one up. That was Karma with the sniper rifle. Karma and Aix versus three players remaining for TK. And Karma, he is going to be the last man standing with the sniper rifle. Bomb down. This is not a good situation. Going to have to do it with the MTAR. Getting tagged up. Karma is all but dead. And there comes Goon to finish him off. 4-3 as TK takes the lead. You know, these teams are really just swapping back and forth at the moment. You see there, Ikama desperately trying to get away. The problem is, once you get spotted in that kind of situation, you can't do an awful lot to get out of it. You're just going to be pinched. You need to kind of make the kill and duck and move. Who's your player to watch in this next round here, Brycey? Uh, let's actually jump on board. I'm going to stay with Karma. Karma? Yeah, let's jump on board with Karma. You want to see the like sniper? To... Oh, yes, that's exactly what I want to see. He needs to make a pick now, especially with the strategy they're employing. They need to get across there fast or get the numerical advantage. And you know what? It looks like they're ready for it as well. Shots going down. Top broken as the oh! first blood and second blood will go to Crim6 with the knife and Karma with the up close and personal snipe. And the bomb being planted right now by TP. So fantastic A execution playing off here. And TP does go down. Nice oh. grenade comes in by Sharp, but Sharp quickly taken care of. Last man standing theory and the one on three 
left alone with a Remington. This isn't the greatest configuration of a gun to have to really do this. I mean, it's, it's so up close. You're going to get into this area here. It's a very up close bomb site. Not going to be able to do anything. He drops. It's now 4-4 between these two teams. They literally are just going toe-to-toe -to -toe on this map. Taking turns, winning rounds. TK finally taking the lead, but Cole coming right back. Eggs finishing out that round. And you really got to credit Crim6's sprint across that map. Got the up close and personal knife. And then Karma taking care of business with his quick whip strat. And now we're going to go over to TK as they are back on the attack. Formal with the MTAR out. Want to see if he's going to be pulling out a sniper. On the other side, it's Gunjar once again making his way towards Broken. Let's see what we can do. Formal going straight off. Very aggressive. Not able to get it over. He gets taken down. It's Crimson who says, nope, that is not good enough. You cannot come and challenge me here. And it's now Sharp going to jump on board with up top. They do not have the numbers. And it just means the complexity he can put the squeeze on. All they've got to do now is pin these players in place and not make any mistakes. Sharp so scared to peek out. Theory trying to get an angle as well. You can see the one player laying down behind that 18 wheeler. And I wonder who is going to be the first one into action. Theory tags one up. Oh. Sharp now trying to jump on this opportunity. Knows that a player is going to be hunting for Theory. Drops down right as a player turns to his right. Unfortunately, he will have more eyes looking at him. Ix is going to clean up that kill. Once again, Theory in a one on three. This is going to be so difficult for him to make here because complexity, they're anything, they're patient. And they will just wait for this pick. He's either got to go for the bomb plant, at which point complexity will swoop in and go for the pinch. Or he's got to wait for a kill, which I just don't think is going to come. And Complexity, you know they're totally patient. They will just let you run out of time. But Krim, he's going to pinch in for a seventh kill this round, or this game. And look at this. We have seven and six for Theory, six, six for Goon, only three and seven for Formal. So Karma getting the better of him. And it's Aches on top of all players at nine and four at the moment. Oh, Aix has just been stepping up for complexity time and time again. And he's doing it once more now. Let's actually jump on board with him here. They can put this map down now, Complexity, if they can win this once more. And they're going to want first pick to do it. And it can be Aix. Aix getting up top. The rest of the team going for that B push. A sniper duel going down as Karma was engaging Formal. Maybe very careful. I said these two are going toe to toe. They both know exactly what the other's doing. They're looking for Formal every time. Theory has gone down as first pick. And Krim is going to get the assist as it looks like Karma did get that pick as soon as I switched off of him. Bomb still yet to go down. More engagements across the map. Krim trying to get into the action. And he's going to have one more player left working with Aix to get this kill. Aix will finish oh, out. Easy. Search and destroy on Octane. Krim's Aix 9 of 5. Aix is 10 of 4. Both these players <laughs> really stepping up when they need to. And you'll say Aix there just kept playing so, so well. He just looked very, very solid. Every time he switched to him, he wasn't shaking about, he wasn't in a rush. He just made the kills, he made it clean, and he kept going. You know, I just wrote down some egg stats. I'm going to start following him because he had a pretty decent domination compared to the other guys on the squad. Now he's totally shining in Search and Destroy. Up next, we have Blitz. This was a game mode that they crushed leading up to this LAN. Haven't had the best of games on Blitz. They've had no. some really good ones, though. We'll see which kind of complexity will be showing up on Blitz. Game number three is coming up after this.